1937 proof scents are similar to the brilliant proofs of 1936. The popularity of the latter finish is reflected in significantly higher sales of proof coins during 1937. This is nevertheless a fairly scarce date when compared to the millions of proofs coined annually since the 1960s. The mint became a little more practiced at polishing the dyes, with the result that a very small percentage of this emission reveals some degree of cameo contrast between brilliant fields and gently frosted devices. This gem was sold for $1,680. 1980 Lincoln Cent graded in Mint State 67 plus red by PCGs. According to Grading Service, the 1980p Lincoln Cent is very common as the U.S. Mint struck over 7.4 billion examples. Examples up to MS-66 condition are easy to locate in MS-67. They are scarce. Anything grading higher than MS-67 is considered rare. This plus designated gem ended up selling for $2,300.62 with buyer's fee. 1930s Lincoln Cent graded in Mint State 67 red by NGC. This is a sharply struck, pristine copper red example of the 1930s Lincoln Cent, showing no carbon spotting or bothersome abrasions. I appeal is excellent. It was sold for $2,640. Nineteen seventies large date sent with double die obverse graded as MS sixty five red by PCGs. All obverse lettering exhibits pronounced die doubling on this guidebook variety, showing most prominently on Liberty and in God We Trust, with lesser doubling on the date. This gem red example displays satiny copper red luster and a bold strike. It was sold for three thousand six hundred dollars. Nineteen fifty five Lincoln sent with double die obverse graded as MS sixty four brown by NGC. Deep walnut brown patina bathes this satiny and boldly struck key date scent. Some flickers of orange red color remain in the most protected areas. Each side exhibits a few trivial ticks, but a generally unabraded example, FS101, shows bold dye doubling visible to the naked eye. This elusive specimen was sold for $4,320.19. VDB Lincoln scent graded in Mint State 65 red by PCGs and proven by CAC, according to Heritage Auctions. Glistening golden and tan orange hues adorn the gem surfaces of this full red 199S VDB scent, the complementing well-struck design elements. The coin is largely pristine, with only a single horizontal mark below the M in America serving as a pedigree marker. It was sold for $10,800 on January 10th, 2020. 1974's Lincoln Scent graded as PR70 Deep Cameo by PCGs. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1974's proof Lincoln Scent is easy to obtain and grades up to about PR68 Deep Cameo examples and PR69 Deep Cameo are more challenging to find, but enough examples exist that most collectors can buy one at a reasonable price. PR70 specimens are almost unheard of. It was sold for $23,062.61 with buyer's fee. 1964 D. Roosevelt Dime with attractive toning graded as MS67FB by PCGs. FB stands for full bands designation, indicating the fully struck motifs of the torch on the backside of the coin, according to Stacks. Bauer's dominant charcoal copper obverse toning yields to splashes of more vivid gold, blue and pink iridescence toward the lower right border. It ended up selling for $920. 1946 D. Washington quarter struck on a dime planchet graded in Mint State 61 by Annex. Highly lustrous with deep rose and golden brown toning. Very fortuitous centering for such an error with a date and mint mark on the flan. Such wrong planchet errors are always visually dramatic and desirable. 1925 Vancouver Half Dollar Graded in Mint State 67 by NGC According to David Hall, the Vancouver Half Dollar was struck to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the founding of Fort Vancouver. The coins were sold at $1 each in August and September 1925, but the founding of Fort Vancouver was not really an event of national significance and sales were relatively limited. The original sales were only 14,994 pieces, which in subsequent years made the Vancouver half dollar one of the rarer commemorative half dollar types. In fact, by 1928-29, 
Vancouver's were fetching as much as $10 in the numismatic marketplace, though they settled back down to the $6 to $7 range by the 1930s. This superb gem was sold for $2,880 on January 22, 2020. Eisenhower dollar graded in mint state 67 by NGC with star designation, this beautiful superb gem is toned in multicolored iridescence that is most vivid at the borders. A great acquisition for an advanced Eisenhower dollar collector or toning enthusiast. It was sold for $2,040. 1942 Jefferson Nickel struck on a silver alloy planchet type 1 variety. Extremely rare transitional error. This heavily circulated error coin was graded as good 6 by PCGs. 1943 dated cents struck on copper planchets bring spectacular prices, but similar wartime wrong alloy transitional errors on Jefferson nickels are significantly rarer. The present lot is struck from Sands Mint Mark Type 1 dies, yet is struck in the silver alloy composition associated with the Type 2 design bearing a large P Mint Mark above Monticello. This is 1918 D Lincoln sent in MS66 red condition, very tough date in full red. This piece absolutely glows with a light lavender highlight. This outstanding gem ended up selling for $17,500. 1968 No S. Roosevelt dime graded as PR68 by PCGs, according to Heritage Auctions, standard practice was to place the mint mark on the reverse of branch mint coins until 1964, with only a few exceptions. However, beginning in 1968, Mint marks were moved to the obverse, usually near the date in 1968, and a few again in various later years. The S mint mark was left off of proof dies. The key is that those were proof only issues that were sold as part of complete proof sets. There have probably been instances of mint marks left off of business strike dies, but how would you know? S proof coins were the dimes of 1968. 1932 D Washington quarter dollar graded in mint state 63 by PCG's the 1932 D Washington quarter is one of the two big key dates of the series. Its mintage of 436800 coins is the second lowest of the series. Collecting quarters was not a popular pastime in 1932. Despite the popularity of coin collecting in general, cents, Nickels and dimes were viewed as inexpensive issues that were avidly collected from circulation by the general public. Numismatic demand for the coins finally developed after World War II, and most survivors were culled from circulation by 1960. Today, the 1932D is scarce, but not really rare in lower mint state grades. This MS-63 specimen was sold for $1,260 on January 23, 2020. 1944's Washington Quarter with double die obverse graded in mint state 67 by PCGS in God We Trust exhibits the strongest doubling, although the date and liberty are also die doubled. It ended up selling for $1,320 on January 23, 2020. 1934D Walking Half Dollar graded in mint state 66 by NGC. According to Grading Service, this was the first emission of half dollars from the Denver Mint since 1929, not including the 1933D Oregon Trail pieces made solely for collectors. While the Denver Mint would soon start producing the most consistently well-struck coins of the three mints, this was not evident. Yet the typical 1934D half dollar displays an indifferent strike. This specimen was sold for $1,560. 1930s Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark S over S, graded in mint state 67 red by PCGs. The remnants of an undertype S are visible to the north of the primary mint mark, identifying the popular cherry pickers variety. This spectacular, superb gem exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout. It was sold for $5,760. 1911 proof Lincoln cent graded as PR66 Brown by PCGs and later approved by CAC. According to grading service, the 1911 matte proof link 
and scent has a very low mintage of 1,725. However, there are several other dates with lower mintages, such as the 1909 VDB, 1914, 1915, and 1916 proof, all with mintages under 1,400 coins struck. The only other dates with a higher mintage are the 1999 and 1913, but even then, the highest of these only has a mintage of 4,118. This monster tone brown example fetched a sum of $7,800 1959 proof Washington Quarter graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGs according to NGC. The proof quarter dollar of 1959 is common in grades through proof 68, with a fairly generous supply of proof 69 examples too. Nearly all of these are fully brilliant or display only slight frosting on the devices of one or both sides. Ultra Cameo or Deep Cameo specimens are especially rare for this date. This superb gem ended up selling for $11,265.75 with buyer's fee. 1914 proof Lincoln scent graded as PR68, read by PCGs and confirmed by CAC. This date is somewhat scarcer than the more plentiful 1910 and 19, $0.13. Fully red gems are especially elusive, the example illustrated being among the finer ones. It was sold for $126,562.50 with buyer's fee.